assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am odo technical developer so if you haven't subscribed to our channel please click this subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos in today's video we are going to talk about relationship between models so like what is relationship and how many relationships are available in odo so uh, a relationship means like a record from one model may be the uh, related to a record from another model like for instance a sale order record is related to a client record what is client client means the customer that contains the client data it is also related to a sale order line record so let me just give you an example of uh, a relationship so for example if we go to the sales order and if we uh, try to create a sales order so here uh, we will see a field for the customer so if we click here uh, we can select a customer which means client so we can select the customer or the clients uh, which is many to one relationship with the sales order so you can have the options to select the customer instead of adding the customers uh, like each time so uh, it it just uh, reduce the redundancy like at the duplication of the records like you just don't need to enter uh, the name of the customer every time so you just need to you can just select it and all these uh, sales order will be uh, linked with this uh, through a relationship so this is the purpose of a relationship so in this uh, in this video uh, we have already uh, added a new model for the session so let me just give you an example like for example in uh, academy we have uh, sessions which uh, like uh, we consider a model for sessions a session is an occurrence of a course taught at a given time for the given audience so like for this purpose we have created a model with the name a uh, session so session can have name start date duration and number of seats available for the sessions so an action and a menu item to display them so we have already added it we don't want to discuss it again because we have already discussed how to add menu items how to add the form view action etc so uh like for this purpose we have already added at the views in the uh, view section and we have already added uh in the model uh, like a new model and uh, all these required fields so we just uh, need to refresh uh like a restart Odo service and then we just need to upgrade the module so after the module upgrade you will be able to see the new menu item for the session uh, and then i will uh, i will discuss about the relationship between the model because we have to create the relationship with the new model and also with the auto default models so uh, we got an error message so what the error message says so let me just scroll down and it says like uh, open oh, this um like the model does not exist so we have made a mistake here so we need to replace this open academy like with od open academy and then uh we need to upgrade the module okay so after the module upgrade we will see uh the new menu items that will appear okay so the module has been upgraded successfully and let me go here and go to the open academy okay open academy and in the open academy we need to go here and let me refresh it so that we can see the new menu item so after the page refresh we can see the sessions menu appears now and if we try to click it here you can see the new fields that we have added which is the name uh the start date duration and number of seats okay so don't just forget about the uh, design so for today video uh, we have to discuss specifically uh, like many to one relations so relational fields so how many relational fields uh exist in Udo? like many to one one to many uh many to many so these are the relational fields that does exist in Odoo. So relation fields link records, which I already show you that how it uh, links the record like the sales area and the customers, either of the same model hierarchies or between the different models. 
relationship types are many to one relations so how you can define the many to one relations you just need to add fields dot many to one and then you need to add the models like with which models you want to add this relation and then you need to set on delete uh, like whether you want to make it set null or you want to cascade it a simple link uh, to another uh, object you can just access it like this so what we can do here so let me just go to the exercise directly so for a one to many relationship we need to uh, use uh, modify the course and the session model to reflect the relation with other models like a course has a responsible user like every course have a responsible user and the value of that field is a record of the built-in model which is raised dot user so every course like if we go here to the course so every course needs to be linked to a user so we need to add the relationship of this model with the user default udo model which is users model so let me go to the settings and show you which user model i am talking about if you go here and go to the users so this is the model with which we need to add at the uh, like the relation okay so uh, for this purpose we need to go to the open academy and then uh, under uh, this field we need to add a responsible okay responsible id which is a many to one relational field many fields start many to sorry many to one and here we need to define the model uh, like the destination model which is raised at user so let me go to the model uh, if we go here so here is the model raised at users okay and this is the destination model raised at users and the next thing is uh, on delete uh, which, which means like whether you want to if if you if you like delete uh, this record so this field needs to be uh, deleted from uh, like it should be empty so in this in that case we need to add uh, on delete cascade okay so uh, and then uh, we need to add a session uh, has an instructor the value of the field is a record of the built-in model raised at partner so like uh, so here if we go to this uh, like many to one so here we can see uh, like set set null so when it, when the dis the record is uh, deleted in the destination model uh, this field needs to be null okay and here the second thing is to add an instructor in the uh, model of a uh, session so like for each session there must be an instructor so we need to add the instructor on the a session like if you go to the session model so here if i create uh, one session like a session uh voodoo technical course introduction like this and here the start date is uh, like uh, tomorrow and uh, duration is one uh, we can say one hours number of seats are, are 10 okay so just save it so this is it so here what we need to do is to add an instructor of this so that we can see which instructor needs to uh you know like do do this session so for this purpose we need to add instructor instructor okay instructor id is equal to uh sorry we have made a mistake so instructor id is equal to fields dot many to one so we are talking about the many to one relationship fields so we will just add real many to one relational fields in this case so like the like the uh this instructor id needs to be linked with the partner which we can say the customer so if you go to the contacts here these are the uh, like contacts or you can say the customers uh, the model for this is raised at partner so it needs to be linked with the raised at partner model so let me just add the destination model here raised at partner like this and here you can add uh, this attribute like string equal to 
Uh, so like this is just a normal field where you can add the uh, other attributes like string means the label which is instructor okay you can select instructor and you can also define some other uh, attributes for this like uh, required etc so we need to uh, add this one and what is the third uh, thing a session is related to a course so every session is also related to a course and the value of that field is a record of the model of openacademy.course which we have uh, like od openacademy.course and is required so here we need to use the parameter as a required and then we need to add these in the views okay so what we need to do is like every uh, every session so keep in mind every session have a relationship with the course like there can be multiple sessions that will be linked with uh, one course. So the, the relation will be many to one. So many sessions can be linked with uh, one course. So like here we can see like course ID equal to field start many to one. The relation will be many to one because many sessions can link with uh, one course. Okay. So here uh, the destination model is this one OD. Uh, let me just add it od uh, open academy open academy uh, dot course like this and here we can add string equal to uh, uh, string equal to course and what was the other thing is to add the required attribute like it needs to be required you cannot keep it empty the required is equal to true like if you try to create a record without filling this field you will get an error message so this is it and then we need to add these in uh, inside the views so inside the views what we can do is uh, we need to go to the views file and we need to find the model like this uh, sorry uh, this uh, responsible id field is defined in this model so we need to go to this model like uh, this is uh, so this is the form view of this model like the course model so we need to add it here just after this so here uh, we need to add group and then uh, group again like this and then we need to add the field name is equal to a responsible id and then close the tag this is it and let me just show you the effect and uh, by just restarting the udo service because we have made the changes in uh, side python and then let me upgrade uh, the module so like if we go to the course and let me try to open it so here we have only two fields so after the module upgrade let me just show you uh, what we have added so we have edit a relational field and how you can link the course with the users uh, as an instructor okay so the module has been upgraded successfully and let me just uh, go to the course and uh, refresh the page okay so here the responsible has been added and let me just go here and uh, let me try to create a new course like new course uh, by Kodo discussion okay and here let me just keep it as empty and here a description of the course this course is for Kodo 16 okay so let me just try to save it and then see okay so uh we have we have able to save it because this is not a required and then i can select the user if i select the user and I save it so this is how we can simply link uh, the responsible user with the courses and uh, the the benefit like uh, the benefit of this relation is that you can easily access the user record just by clicking here so if you click here you will be able to see the user uh, detail so you don't need to add the user detail again and again for the uh, for different records you can just uh, access uh, the record 
the same way we need to add the uh, other fields like uh, that we have defined in the session like instructor id uh, so where we need to add it should be under the uh, session form so here we need to add a session id and the other is course id okay so let me just go here and duplicate this field course id okay and then let me just upgrade the module because we have just made the change inside the xml okay i click uh, upgrade to upgrade the module and after the module upgrade you will see the updates okay it has been updated and let me just refresh this page and after the page refresh you will see let me go to the sessions and let me try to create a new session so session uh, for new photo course introduction and uh, we can say like the start date is three and duration you can keep it as empty like we want to add four hours number of seats uh 100 so like let me just uh, add an instructor like this one and let me keep the course as empty and let me try to save it okay if i try to say it you can say invalid fields course why we got this error because we have made the course as uh, required so uh, this way you can add uh, multiple uh, like uh, parameters for any field and if you want to uh, read the details of each of the parameter of the fields like uh, you can just click here of uh, and you will be able to see the detail of uh, each parameter these are the different parameters that are available we have already discussed about the co uh, model which is uh, the destination model and uh, we discussed about the uh, on delete uh, which we will also discuss about uh, it further um, uh, like but we just uh, talk about the uh, brief introduction and you can just try by adding these uh, parameters one by one and then uh, see the effect uh, of these uh, parameters okay so uh, the, the purpose of uh, the one to many many to one relationship means that you can link uh, one record with multiple records in the uh, destination like for example in this case we can link uh, this uh, session with this one and uh, we can also create multiple uh, sessions uh, for the same course like session uh, two and a date and then and then we can link it with the same course so if we save it and then go back and if we add group by uh, course you will be able to see that three sessions are linked with this one course so this means that in case of many to one the destination models uh, should have a one record and in the source model you ha you can define multiple records couple of records for the uh, that, that can you can link with it so this is it for this video if you enjoyed this video uh, please give a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel also please click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you